Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a super cool paint effect in GIMP 2.10 using the gimmick plugin. Okay, let's go ahead and open up GIMP software. And we've got GIMP loaded up here. And let's just minimize this for the moment. Inside this folder, I've got this picture. I'll put a link to this same image so you can download the same image. I think this type of um, artwork or this type of paint effect works when there's kind of bright objects inside of the uh, the image itself. I think it looks better. So we're going to use this nice bright image. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description. I'll also put a link in there showing you how to install the gimmick plugin if you want to install that as well if you don't have it. Let's open up GIMP software and let's drag and drop this picture into GIMP. We're going to drag and drop it and we're going to click uh, convert here convert the image format so we've got the picture in here we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to the gimmick plugin here so we'll click that and it will load up the software and then we're going to go to artistic and we're going to click on this option here the paint dab option so when we click on it i've already set up some basic settings here so i've set the iteration to two i've set the amplitude to three the sharpness and I've set this setting here to 0.2, the sigma to 1, and the di to 4. And you can select equalize. But here's the thing. You need to go and experiment with all of these settings. Different settings are going to give you different results. So to, to experiment with this particular tool, you need to go and play around with it. What you can do is hold down the control key and then use your left mouse button to move to different parts of the image. So you can maybe move down to here. And the gimmick plugin will only apply the effect to the portion of the image that you're selecting, right? Because it can't there's no point in seeing this effect across all of the picture and it's going to take a lot of processing to do that so you can just move to different parts of the picture maybe move over to this part over here see what it looks like if you're happy with it the style is quite a, it's quite an interesting style of, of effect to apply to it and it's quite zoomed in quite a lot so when you zoom out you're going to see things a little bit more accurate but I think this is the kind of settings that I like. But like I said, go and experiment with the settings. Unless you experiment, you're not going to see the, uh, the different style and effect that it applies to it. So once you're happy with everything and all the settings are good, uh, you can either output it to a new layer or you can output it to the same layer. I'm going to just use the output to the same layer because we've got the original image anyway. We've already downloaded that. And we'll click the apply button. Now you need to go and be patient because this is going to take probably about, uh, I would say, around a minute and a half to two minutes so you can see the processor you can see the time down here seven seconds and so forth so i'm going to use the magic of uh, video editing and speed this up okay so gimmicks finished plugging um, applying that effect using the plugin so it took about just over two minutes to do that job we can go ahead and click ok here and then we can see the effect in here now it look, may not look a bit strange in here but as we zoom in we can kind of crop out parts of this image and we'll have this nice sort of paint effect applied to our our artwork right and i think it looks pretty cool i don't know what you think kind of looks um it's quite a famous artist that had this sort of swirly sort of paint pattern um hitting his artwork i can't remember the name off the top of my head but what we can do is go to file and we can export this so we click export as and we can save this as a jpeg file so we're going to call this um art work dash zero one and click export and we save it as 90 percent compression and export it so now we've got that as a separate file we can close this and just discard changes and we've got the original image in here this is the original one and then we've got our one with our effect applied to it and we can go in and zoom in quite close here and we could crop out parts of this image if we want to crop out parts we can do like some interesting um effects with this this particular style of artwork right so i think it looks pretty cool looks quite different you can always go back into gimp so you can take this image let's go back into gimp we can open up this artwork 01 image plug that into gimp here we can go to our color we can go to um, our hue and saturation and then we can change the hue in the image and we can get other styles other designs so we can go to purples we can go to greens you can lighten you can increase the saturation as well to make it a bit more brighter and you can then play around with the settings in here and um, change the color scheme right so we might go for like uh, let's say kind of like um, this purple style purple and green looks pretty cool so I might click that and then click OK and then we can go and 
um, crop out a specific part of this image if you wanted to. So you could take the the uh, rectangle tool and then you could crop out maybe this part here that looks quite interesting, like here. And then go to uh, let's go to layer, crop to selection. And then we've got that piece of the image there, right? And then we can just save that as a separate file. We can stretch it back out again. So we can go to our move tool, click on the image. Let's go to select uh, none here. And we've got our image here. And in fact, what we could do is, uh, yeah, let's just grab it. And let's go to our scale tool. Uh, let's click the scale tool. Let's click on the picture. We can grab the handles, scale it out. So it fills the canvas size. And just move it into position. Click scale. And then we can use our move tool and just place it wherever we like. So I think about here looks pretty cool. It was quite interesting. And then we can create a new composition from that. Apply other effects, do loads of different things to the picture. Let's just export this version as well. And we'll call it artwork 02. Click export. Remember to go and play with the settings in Gimmick. You can get different styles into picture. I've set it up like this particular way, but you can go and experiment and get different examples or different styles of that picture so here's our original one here's our one that we've got that effect applied to it the paint effect you can zoom in and you can see the style in there and then we've got this one here that we've just zoomed into part of the image i think when you zoom into a specific part you can see things a bit clearly you can make out that these are cars here like these are the buildings you've got the pictures and the painting and the, the number here um, and i think that looks quite interesting so i don't know what you think i kind of like the style I think it looks quite interesting let's go ahead and close this let's close this that's how you apply this what i think is a quite a cool paint effect using gimp 2.10 and we're using the gimmick plugin to apply this effect don't forget to check the link in the youtube description if you haven't already installed the gimmick plugin i can show you how to do that by clicking in the link in the youtube description for my tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial